Hello. So the latest thing we talked about was how we differentiate or how we compute uh, the time rate of change of um, body attached unit vectors. We said that this is the latest thing we talked about. We said that uh, E1 dot is equal to omega 3 e2 hat just to remind you that this term is zero because it indicates rotation about e1 hat so e1 hat dot plus sorry minus omega 2 e3 hat and then we have e2 hat dot equal to negative omega 3 e1 hat again plus zero plus omega 1 e1 hat e3 hat and then we had e3 hat dot equal to omega 2 e1 hat minus omega 1 e2 hat plus zero so we put this in table form the latest lesson and then we said that we're going to use the time rate of change of body attached unit vectors to compute velocity. So if we were to express this in matrix form, we're going to get E1 hat dot, E2 hat dot, E3 hat dot, zero, omega three, negative omega two, negative omega 3 0 omega 1 and then omega 2 negative omega 1 0 and then we have an e hat e1 hat dot e2 hat dot sorry e2 hat and e3 hat so dots are on the left hand side right. let's call it equation one so this is what we did. Just remind you, if you see a mistake, something inconsistent, just email me with your um, question. So I have, uh, on the left, I have the time rate of change of unit vectors in body attached frame. And on the right, I have actually the body attached, uh, body attached unit vectors and the matrix of rotation, the rotation matrix. What we are gonna do is we're gonna transpose both sides of this equality. Why do we transpose this? Because what we had was a row vector when we differentiated RP. Right? So we transpose this equation. So we get E1 hat dot, E2 hat dot, E3 hat dot, equal to e1 hat e2 hat e3 hat all right so and then we transpose this matrix we get zero negative omega three and then omega two and then i get uh, omega three and i get zero and i have negative omega one and I have omega omega 2, and I have omega 1, and I have 0. Equation 2. Again, so we transpose both sides. And then, now recall that we had this equation. We had rp dot, and again, to remind you, p was an arbitrary point in a rigid body. So we wanted to compute the velocity for this arbitrary point in this rigid body. So we had RP dot equal to A1 hat, A2 hat, A3 hat, and then multiplying R1 dot, R2 dot, R3 dot, plus, plus, 
E1 hat dot, E2 hat dot, E3 hat dot, multiplying R1, R2, and R3. Right? This we already had in our latest lesson. What we did was RP itself is R1, E1 hat, plus R2, E2 hat, plus R3, E3 hat. And then we differentiated both sides, and we got this equation, equation 3. And then once we had equation 3, we talked about how we can compute the time rate of change of unit vectors, this term. And this is what we did after that. All right, so what we're going to do now is use 2 in 3. Right? And if I do that, I get rp dot equal to e1 hat, e2 hat, e3 hat, r1 dot, r2 dot, r3 right. The time rate of change of the magnitude of position vector r1 dot, r2 dot, r3 dot plus e1 hat, e2 hat, e3 hat. Now I'm replacing this time rate of change of unit vectors with what I had in equation 2. Right? So what I get, I get uh, this matrix 0, negative omega 3, omega 2, omega 3, 0, negative omega 1, negative omega 2, omega 1, and 0. Right? And then the whole thing is multiplying position vector. Right? So in this term, what does this term represent? Right? That's a question we should ask ourselves. What does this term represent? So what we have the unit vectors, but then we have the change, the magnitude, the time rate of change of the magnitude of position vectors. Right? R1 dot, R2 dot, R3 dot. In other words, in body I has frame, we are measuring how fast. The position of P changes with respect to the origin of that body attached frame. We called it O prime. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this. I'm going to call this. I'm going to call this R P, and I'm going to use circle. I use circle just to differentiate the terms that I'm computing in body attached frame and in the initial frame. We have two frame again. On the left, we have dot, which is our total time uh, variation of RP with respect to time. We have this first step, RP circle which indicate the change of position of P in body attached frame, right? And then I'm going to call this. Again, because I have omega, first off, this matrix, I'm going to call this matrix, matrix of omega, right? I'm going to use omega, and this omega indicates this matrix, the whole thing. Okay. So the matrix is the whole thing. And then cross RP. Okay. All right. So let's see. So what can we do here? We can do here is then describe this rp dot as rp circle plus omega cross rp right? 
So again, and then in this, in this equation, RP circle is the absolute velocity with respect to, sorry, RP dot is the absolute velocity with respect to inertial frame. But RP circle is the relative velocity as seen in the rotating frame. So what I can do is I can say I can say that this RP circle is the relative velocity as seen in rotating frame. Right. And omega, this rotating frame, is our body attached frame, right? But note that I can attach my uh, secondary frame to any point, right? So there's nothing here that's limited to rigid body, right? Because I can attach my second frame to any point. I have my initial frame and I have my secondary frame. The point I need to pay attention is I, can, I have to compute this RP in RP circle, sorry, in our secondary frame, right? So in other words, what you're saying here is that we find a frame such that computing RP circle is easier than computing RP dot. And then we are going to characterize the motion of the secondary frame with respect to inertial frame. So what we are saying is computing each of these terms on the right hand side is easier than directly computing RP dot. So we compute each term separately on the right hand side and then we add them together to compute RP dot. All right, so this omega is, so let me also define omega. Omega is the angular, angular velocity of the rotating frame, rotating frame with respect to the initial frame. And RP was the position vector, obviously, and this is all we need. So RP dot, the dot, is the absolute velocity with respect to a fixed inertial frame. So, and this is all we need. So next session, next lesson, I'm going to compute acceleration. Now we have velocity, so next step is to compute acceleration. All right, see you later.